how's it going? It's Mayuko. Today I wanted to do a video that several of you have asked for actually, which is the What's in My Backpack video. And before we get started, I wanted to say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Whether you need a website, domain, or online store, make it with Squarespace. Okay, so let's jump in. So I wear a backpack to work every day and I thought I would introduce the backpack first and then maybe go through the contents of it. I have it all laid out there and so I'll talk about each one by one. So hope that's cool. So without further ado, this is my backpack. Um, so it's a backpack from High Sierra. I don't remember what the model is actually called, but I'll leave it in the description down below. Um, it's funny how I came to find this backpack. I actually have gone through two other backpacks before I found this one. I actually saw someone wearing this at the airport one day and it just looked really cool. And I was like, I wanna buy it. And then I went online to the High Sierra website and I bought it and it's been working pretty well for me. I think I've had it for about a year now. So here's the front of the backpack. I've decorated it with a couple of pins that I own. These two I got from WWDC last year. This one says hello and this one is the old Mac logo, which I totally love. Uh, I had other ones on here, I think, but they've all fallen off. They've all just like retired from my backpack, decided I don't want to be there anymore. Um, but these ones have stuck on, which I am really grateful for because these are my favorite. The other ones on here is a YouTube pin that I got uh, from, I think Google, I want to say, at Grace Hopper, they're giving out a bunch of pins. And so I have this YouTube pin as well as this patch on this side, the YouTube patch, which is actually peeling off. I should probably sew it on. So the other ones I have on here are, this is a uh, Wong Fu Forward, pin. I'm one of their care holders on Patreon and I love them. I've been watching them since I was in high school basically. And so they sent pins to all of their care holders, which I thought was really nice. So this one is from my friend Andy. He's a fellow iOS developer and he made an initiative called Wu-Tang Clang, which is obviously a play on the word uh, for the group Wu-Tang Clan, which is pretty funny. So he's selling these pins and using the funds to help lower the barrier for people from underrepresented backgrounds, break into the tech industry, and I'm such a huge fan, so I wear this one proudly on my backpack. Other than that, um, just some main features, there's a side pocket here, there's a side pocket here, there's a pocket here and a zipper here, so I really like the modularness of this and this one as well, there's a pocket right here. If I open this up right here, there's this kind of big, section actually that opens up like this um so this is actually all just like one pocket there's no specific like dividers or anything inside but i can actually stuff a lot of things in here which is great because i can just stuff like jackets and like big things and just like basically make this as big or as small as i want it to be which i really like about this backpack um, and then of course over here is the zipper for my laptop. And so this is a very specific like laptop compartment. There's like one divider in there, but I like that my laptop actually stays separate from the rest of the compartments because then it's, it's just easier to get to. I don't have to wade through a bunch of other things to get there. Um, and the back looks like this. So it's pretty standard. I wouldn't say it's like North Face level, but uh, it does the job and I like just how simple it is and how easy it is to get to everything. So let's dive into what I have inside, which is actually not inside here, as you can see. Cool, it's like all air. <laughs> so first off is my laptop. Obviously, this is like the thing that I have a backpack for. Um, I have the 15 inch MacBook Pro. I got this from work, got a bunch of cool stickers and stuff on it, which maybe I'll talk about somewhere else, maybe on Instagram or something. Don't forget to follow me there. Next up is my bullet journal. Um, I got this one from Baron Fig, uh, and I don't wanna show you what's inside per se, but it's got the dotted grid. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but yeah, I've been bullet journaling since end of last year actually, and I like it a lot. I was actually inspired by my friend Charlie Marie and also Matt Raglan, who both have their own YouTube channels to create a bullet journal because they made a video about their own ones and I was really inspired, so. Yeah, I really like this one. It's the Baron Fig uh, Confidant in flagship size. Um, so I have this one. And then kind of to go along with that, I also always carry a pen with me. This is the Muji uh, pen, I guess, um, in 0.38, which is the smallest size. These pens are so good. They write so well and I love them and I always just buy huge packs of them. So this is kind of like my bullet journal-y stuff. If you want to see a video about how I bullet journal, then leave a comment down below. Maybe I'll make it if y'all are interested. Next up, so I wanted to talk about uh, books. 
So I carry around a couple of books, at least one book with me. Um, I have a pretty long commute, I think. From door to door, it takes me about an hour and a half to get to work. And I spend a long time on the train. And so I bring some things with me so that I don't get bored. So right now I have these two in my backpack. This book is Miss Burma. Um, it's a novel about a family uh, going through all the turmoil that Burma went through for the last hundred years. And it just follows all of their lives. I'm almost halfway through it and I really like it. I realized I don't know anything about the history of Burma. Um, so I saw this book and I really like the cover, uh, but I'm reading it and it's really interesting. I like books that tell the story of people a lot and so I really like memoirs um, and this is kind of like a memoir, it's fiction, but I'm really enjoying this one right now. So I usually like having maybe like one fiction and one nonfiction book. I like nonfiction because it's me like learning things and absorbing new material, but sometimes I just wanna be like transported to a different world. And so I like having a fiction book on hand for that. But this is my nonfiction read right now, which is The Manager's Path, a guide to tech leaders navigating growth and change by Camille Fournier. Um, she used to be the CEO of, CEO, CTO of Rent the Runway. This book was recommended to me by all of my coworkers. It's great for anyone who's either a software engineer or a manager, or if you're looking to become a director, VP, or CTO or CEO. Uh, but yeah, I'm like halfway through-ish. I've just been kind of jumping around because it's one of those books. But yeah, this is my nonfiction read that's been in my backpack. Oh, also, I usually keep a highlighter with me for these nonfiction reads so that I can just like go through and highlight stuff. So yeah, I don't know. I got this one for free. It's blue. It's nice. Next. So like I said, my commute's really long and that's really what a lot of the stuff in my backpack is for. Um, so if I'm not in the mood to read, I'll listen to music or podcasts. And so I actually bought these pretty recently. These are the Bose QuietComfort 2s. Um, they're Bluetooth headphones with noise cancellation. These ones are really popular. I've seen them everywhere on the train at airports and stuff. I actually bought this from a vending machine at an airport, but I really like it. The noise cancellation is okay. It doesn't get rid of all of the noise, but it does get rid of like low humming noise that honestly you don't realize that you hear, but you do. So yeah, I really like these ones. They're like this and they're adjustable. So I always keep these in my backpack. Unfortunately, I do have to charge them every once in a while, but usually I'll just do that when I'm at work, so. Sweet. So yeah, they come in like a nice little nifty case. Um, so I just keep it like this in my backpack. Oh, speaking of charging things, I also usually keep a portable charger in my backpack. This one, I don't know where I got it, and this holds a charge so well. I usually keep this one and an iPhone cable with me. So I don't know if y'all have been to the Bay Area before, but usually the weather doesn't change all that much. It ranges from like maybe low 40s to like 80 something, so it never gets super cold. But we do have a little bit of a rainy season from like January to April. Um, so I always keep a portable umbrella with me. I wish it was a little bit lighter, but otherwise it might not be as sturdy. Not that this one is super sturdy anyways. I actually just got this at a market sometime because like it was raining and I didn't bring my umbrella and it was like pouring, so I just ran in and got this. And this is like $20, uh, but I got it because it's San Francisco and everything's expensive, but it's a pretty normal black umbrella. There's really nothing special about it, um, but I like that I can just like keep it in my backpack. It's not too big and it helps keep me dry. So yeah. Okay, so the next one's really important. This is my water bottle. Um, it's one of the Hydro Flask ones. I really like this color because it's hard for me to forget it and it's really bright. Um, but I, I really need to stay hydrated throughout the whole day or else I get headaches and I'm just cranky and stuff. So I bring this with me, usually empty because this thing is pretty heavy and then I fill it up at work. Um, but I like just having it on my desk so that I can just like reach over and drink water and this thing feels like it never runs out. So I bring this with me to everywhere I go as well. Okay, so the last couple of things, these are kind of like health wellness related, which uh, again has to do with my long commute. So the first one of these is eye drops. So I wear contact lenses, and so these are the Renew Lubricating and Rewetting Drops. If the weather's really dry or I was on the computer for a really long time that day, then my contacts dry out and it gets really uncomfortable. And so I bring these along with me, which really, really help. I tend to get headaches sometimes when my contacts are really, really dry just because my eyes are straining to keep them like not painful. <laughs> and so having these is a lifesaver. Uh, I always keep them with me. Okay. 
Next up, this is really Japanese, but I have these like little wet towels. I actually got these when I went to Japan this last time. Um, this one's just one of the disposable ones that they just like give you with your meal. And this one, it was like, like traffic day or something to bring awareness to like safe traffic safety things. <laughs> I keep these with me because one of the easiest ways to get sick is if you touch something and then you touch your eye or your face or something. And when I'm commuting, there's a lot of germs everywhere. So if I'm like on the go and eating or something, then, you know, these are really helpful. Actually, along that same vein, I also have this with me. This is the Dr. Bronner's Lavender Organic Hand Sanitizer, which I picked up at the natural food store in San Diego, and I love this. I know they have like the gel hand sanitizer stuff, but I like this a lot more. It smells so good. I feel like it's like aromatherapy on the go. Um, and it does a pretty good job of washing my hands. So yeah, when I can't get to a bathroom or something, then these are really, really helpful. And I honestly haven't gotten sick this year, so I think I have these to thank. Okay, so those ones I wanted to highlight specifically, but I actually have this kind of like first aid kit type of thing that I made for myself. Again, long commutes are no fun and needing to wait an hour in discomfort is no fun. So I pack some of the things that help me feel better so that I can just do things on the go. Now I won't go into everything in here, but some of the things that I have in here is lip balm, um, hand lotion, band-aids, uh, warm packs, pads, I think I have an extra pair of contact lenses in here in case like one of them rips, as well as just like some ibuprofen and vitamins and stuff. I really like this. I actually like the fact that it's orange because it helps me find it easier in my backpack. Um, but yeah, I bring this with me everywhere I go as well. Awesome, so that is it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you liked today's video. Uh, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below about what tools that you bring with you always on the go. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified for my new videos. Again, thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. They have beautiful designer templates that are ready to go for you to use so you don't have to bother your one designer friend. It's also an all-in-one platform so you never have to install, patch, or upgrade ever, which means that you don't have to fix any of the bugs. They have award-winning 24-7 customer service and so whatever time of day that you're working on it, there are customer service representatives that are able to help you. It's also really easy to set up or transfer a domain on Squarespace and so you can brand it with whatever you would like. And it's never been easier to sell products or services online and so you can start that brand new merch line. So head to squarespace.com for your free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Mayuko for 10% off your purchase of a website or domain. Cool, so that is it for today. I hope you all are doing well and I'll see you next time. Bye.